Hey, welcome back to the Kagan Dunlap channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something that is absolutely repulsive. Frankly, one of the craziest things I've seen or heard in a very long time. So currently there's an investigation underway in Tempe after a Wells Fargo employee, a lady who was like 60 years old, died at her desk while she was at the job and they didn't realize it for like four days. It took four days for people to not notice this woman had died in her office or in her cubicle or wherever. This lady worked at Wells Fargo. Apparently police are suggesting that her body was there for four days before somebody noticed. This is in Arizona, by the way. To hear that she's been sitting at her desk like that for four days and nobody noticed, nobody noticed that she wasn't moving and she was in the same position the day before for four days straight. Okay, so the body was found inside of the corporate Wells Fargo office in Tempe, Arizona. An associate spoke up. They spoke anonymously about this and told the news organizations all over the place about it because they're like, they didn't want to get in trouble, right? The Tempe police confirmed that on August 16th, 60 year old Denise Prudhomme, I think is her name, checked into the building at 7 a.m. And then on August 20th, the building security called authorities after finding an unresponsive worker four days later. And then officers arrived and confirmed that Prudhomme was dead. Other people had seen her dead at her desk in a cubicle while walking around the building, but nobody said anything. Apparently her office was like on the third floor away from the main aisle. And so you wouldn't notice. Another employee said that several people smelled a foul odor, but passed it off as faulty plumbing. A foul odor as in body decomposition is completely different from the way that anything else smells. For example, when I was a kid, I was, well, not a, yeah, I guess I was a kid. I was in middle school and we had a mouse die inside of our water heater or something like that in the kitchen. And it smelled so horrific that we were like, we got it. We got to find out what's going on with this. And that's just like a very small organism, right? Eventually we figured it out. We found out where it was and we had, we had it removed. And then the smell went away. Imagine a, a gigantic per, like it was that bad as a mouse. Now imagine an entire person worth of flesh sitting in their office decomposing. Apparently most of the employees at that Wells Fargo office work remotely. And so maybe that's one of the reasons why they didn't notice, but they also have 24 seven security and somebody should have like walked past that while they were making their rounds to at least notice what was going on. Like, it's crazy that somebody could die and be there for, for four days without anybody noticing. It's just crazy. Apparently police are saying there's not anything suspicious about the death. Apparently they're still trying to figure out who, like what the cause of death is. Anyway, so let's talk about the uh, four stages of human decomposition. Now, the first stage of human decomposition is called autolysis or self-digestion. It begins immediately after death, immediately. As soon as blood circulation and respiration stop, the body has no way of getting oxygen or removing wastes. Excess carbon dioxide causes an acidic environment, causing membranes and cells to rupture. The membranes release enzymes that begin eating the cells from the inside out. Rigor mortis causes muscle stiffening. Small blisters filled with nutrient-rich fluid begin appearing on internal organs and the skin's surface. The body will appear to have a sheen due to ruptured blisters, and the skin's top layer will begin to loosen. Stage two, bloat. Stage two of human decomposition consists of bloating to the body from leaked enzymes from the first stage begin producing many gases. Due to the gases, the human body can double in size, giving it that bloated look. The sulfur containing compounds that the bacteria release also cause skin discoloration. In addition, insect activity can be present. Because it was inside of a building, the insect activity was probably to a minimum. However, uh, stage three, which is called active decay, fluids released through orifices indicate the beginning of Active decay, organs, muscles, and skin become liquefied. When all the body's soft tissue decompose, hair, bones, cartilage, and other byproducts of decay remain. The cadaver loses most mass during this stage. And then stage four is skeletization, which you can understand when, like, what that is. Anyway, the timeline for this. Human body decomposition timeline. About 24 to 72 hours after death, the internal organs for that body decompose. Three to five days after death, the body starts to bloat and blood containing foam leaks from the mouth and nose. Which means we were probably in that stage. We're probably in that stage four days in, about halfway through that. Bro.
the smell was probably putrid. I don't know who this woman's family are, but I imagine that they are probably pretty upset about this because nobody noticed that their, you know, their mother or grandmother had passed away at her cubicle for four days. They didn't get to find out until after the fact. And she started definitely decomposing before they found her. And like, how do you move a decomposing corpse like that without like damaging it and it like falling apart everywhere? I mean, I guess it's only been four days, so hopefully it wouldn't be as bad, but dude, I feel bad for the family, like for sure. Yeah, I don't know. This is uh, one of the craziest stories I've heard in a long time. I'm assuming they're still conducting investigations into this and they're gonna try to figure out if there's like a specific reason why she passed away or if it was just like, hey, as a result of old age, or maybe she had a heart attack. Now, Wells Fargo did not immediately respond to a request for comment when they were asked by news organizations, but the company issued a statement with several other news outlets saying they are deeply saddened by the tragic loss of our colleague and will be providing counselors to support office employees. Now, Wells Fargo developed a really bad reputation a long time ago because of some things that happened in like 2016. It was revealed that employees had created millions of unauthorized accounts without customers' knowledge, which led to widespread public outrage. Their reputation took a massive hit during that. Yeah, Wells Fargo and company and its subsidiary, Wells Fargo Bank, have agreed to pay $3 billion to resolve their potential criminal and civil liability stemming from a practice between 2002 and 2016 of pressuring employees to meet unrealistic sales goals that led thousands of employees to provide millions of accounts or products to customers under false pretenses or without consent, often by creating false records or misusing customers' identities, according to the Department of Justice. Wells Fargo admitted that it collected millions of dollars in fees and interest to which the company was not entitled, harmed the credit ratings of certain customers and unlawfully misused customers' sensitive personal information, including customers' means of identification. So they set a really bad precedent a while ago for this kind of like negligent behavior. They just have a really bad reputation as a result of that. And this this right here is not gonna help their reputation at all. I hope that it wasn't as a result of negligence. I think it might be just human factors, like the security personnel were supposed to be checking all the desks and maybe they just got lazy or complacent, just didn't do it. It's still under investigation and I'm sure that they'll get to the bottom of it. They'll figure out what, ha what the hell happened, so. Definitely weird.